Hey, anybody over at Macy's. Uh, my name is David Bradley. I am a client of yours. I, I try and shop at Macy's whenever I can. Uh, I love the tr tradition of Macy's all the way back to Miracle on 34th Street. Um, have always been a fan of Macy's and the experience and what it represents. And there's a certain level of luxury and elegance that is made available to everybody um, that should be a part of going to Macy's. And so lately though, I've just been really disappointed with the experience. It seems like the shopping department store experience that used to exist in, you know, back in the day, 20s, 30s, 40s, even in the 70s, uh, is getting eaten alive by this internet of things, right? Um, but what that means is that more, now so, more than ever, the experience that a customer experiences at the store level has got to be out standing. Amazing. We need, you guys need to blow people away with the service they get when they come into your store. Okay, I can, they, Walmart has greeters. I was in your, right, and, and what do they, what do they market themselves on? Cheap, lowest price, right? But they got somebody at their door whose literal job is to welcome people to the store. I spent 28 minutes in your store in Bakersfield, California yesterday, walked by at least five people with Macy's badges or vests on. Not one of them said hi. Not one of them said, welcome. Not one of them said, can I help you find something? Um, nothing. So what I want to impart on you guys, because again, I'm a fan and I want to give you my money because I love Macy's, um, is, man, you got to handle that. The 10 foot rule should be policy in every single Macy's store. Now, on the flip side of that, OK, I've had this negative experience at the Santa Maria store. I've had this negative experience down in Bakersfield. Um, I've had this uh, in Woodland Hills when you still had it and then it closed. And I know you're closing a lot of stores and I think a lot of it has to do with the experience uh, doesn't match. And so if no one's going to take care of me, if no one's going to offer me help, if no one's going to help me find anything, if this if the section right, I was in the suit section has been destroyed and not put back and you can't find stuff and when it makes it very easy to just go on the internet. But when I was in your store at the Aventura mall in um, Florida, airline lost my luggage. I need a suit for tomorrow. So I roll into Macy's. I told the guy, I forget his name. I told the guy what was going on. And this is, this is exactly what we did. He goes, you don't have to worry about a thing. Follow me. Guy took me over to the suit section. He goes, you look like a 40 short. What can I, who do you, what, do you have a brand you prefer? I said, let's, let's go Calvin, right? This guy put me everything, suit, shirt, tie. The only thing I didn't need were shoes. The guy put me in Calvin Klein socks, Calvin Klein underwear. We did Calvin Klein across the board, Calvin Klein belt, the whole thing. Guy took really good care of me. Never once did I ask, how much is this going to cost? What's this going to be for me? Man, the dude hooked me up and it was awesome. And I felt taken care of and I felt proud to be a Macy's customer because that's the experience that should happen for every customer, every time, every situation. And I know that's a goal for you guys as well. But if you don't have people like me, who's actually in the field of development and training of salespeople, which every, every customer facing employee you have is also part of your sales team. I know you guys know that, right? The experience at your store, this is, the, this is the message I'm giving you based on what happened yesterday. The, the experience at every one of your stores has got to be paramount. It has to be the greatest thing ever. Not only are you guys competing with the Internet of Things now and Amazon and Walmart. Yeah, you can get a suit at Walmart. You have to compete with Neiman, Nordstrom's, all these different places. So all I'm asking for as a customer, first and foremost, say hi to me. Make me feel welcome. Make me feel like I matter in your store. That's the first piece. Uh, second thing is, is help me out because guess what happened yesterday? I didn't buy anything because the one suit that I found in a pretty destroyed section that I liked, the pants 
uh, just didn't quite work. And the size that I wanted, you had one that was just a little too big, one that was just a little too small. Right? I made it all the way to the fitting room. Nobody even helped me in the fitting room either. Um, couldn't find it. So I put everything back and I left. And how often does that happen? And granted, I probably maybe only would have spent three, five hundred bucks. But if that happens several times a day in several different departments, I mean, I watched these two women looking at sunglasses and there was two ladies at the register all tripped out over why the register wasn't working. And, and these ladies weren't being helped. Forget the register, man. <laughs> It'll still be broke. <laughs> Let's go get their money. Right? So that, that, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. I had five minutes. That's a long six minutes. Jesus. Sorry about that. It's it, just because I care. Okay? So here's how to get a hold of me. If you wanted to call, reach out, whatever it may be. Uh, my name is David Bradley. Uh, the guy I work for, we do sales and marketing training, uh, is Grant Cardone. Uh, I've learned a lot about effective customer service and how service is seen to selling from him. If you want to talk to me for any reason, feel free to call me 310-777-0352. That's my office line. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome day. Talk to you.